Hey everybody, Kenneth Russell here. I hope you're doing well. I'm doing great. A while back, I posted a video why Fender style guitars have string trees and why Gibson style guitars do not have string trees. And in the comment section, a lot of people said, make a video on why Gibson headstocks break and Fenders don't. So here you go. This is the video why Gibson headstocks break and Fenders don't. All right, well, first of all, let me just say, I know it's not impossible to break a headstock on a Fender or Stratocaster or Stratocaster style guitar, but if you just Google broken guitar headstock, the amount of guitars, pictures you'll see of Gibson and Gibson Les Paul, that kind of style guitar compared to Fender style guitars is, it's like not 10 to one, it's probably more like 20 to one, the amount of guitars. So undeniably the design of the Gibson style headstock is not as good as the design of the Fender style headstocks if you're talking about the breakability and the durability of it. Let me turn these guitars sideways and show you the difference in the angle of the headstocks. Now, if you look at this headstock right here, you can see that it's angling backwards. Gibson guitars angle back at a 17 degree, okay? So this is angling back like this. Now what's gonna happen is the flaw in it is when it's laying flat like this, if you hold this flat and lay it down on the ground, you'll actually see a gap in the ground right here. So what happens is the neck is actually further down than the, than the body is right here. So if you've got this sitting on the side of your you know, by your bed, leaning up against the wall, what happens is that this is gonna slide down, fall, boom, and the headstock is gonna hit the ground. As Soon as that headstock hits the ground, it snaps right here at the neck. If you look at a Stratocaster, it's mostly just straight up and down like this. And if you were to do the same thing, that same experiment, and drop this flat on the ground, this neck is not gonna snap off. And if it does, it's not gonna snap off right here. So that's why you see so many broken headstocks on Gibson style guitars, mostly just because it, it the, just from falls. They'll come, they'll fall, they'll hit the ground and they'll break. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop both of these guitars and see which one does not break. I'm totally just kidding because my friend that let me borrow his Gibson Les Paul would kill me. Anyway, Chris, that's for you. I'm not really gonna drop your guitar. I've actually been keeping pretty good care of it. Anyway, so is there anything else to do with the headstock that might make it weak? If you look at this here, there's not a lot of wood right here. You know, there's just, it's just not a lot of wood. And so when there is pressure put on the headstock, it's easy for it to snap because it's just a thin piece of wood here. And to make things worse, your truss rod is right there and your truss rod has got that opening there. They're literally drilling out a part of that angle that's already weak in order for the truss rod to have the opening. So you might be asking, why don't they fix this problem? You know, they've been making Gibsons for so long. If there has been so many broken headstocks, why don't they just do something about it? The answer is, I hate to say it, but it's tradition. And as long as people are buying Gibson Les Pauls, they're not gonna change anything with it because people are still shelling out the cash to buy it. Now, if they did change it, the things that they would they should change definitely is make that angle a little bit more this way but the answer to the question it's just tradition that's just the way that they were made back in the day that's the way they're going to keep making them because people want that traditional that iconic gibson anyway hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did do me a favor hit that like button on youtube and uh if you're new to my youtube channel hopefully you'll subscribe to it and i'll check you out in another video this has been why gibson headstocks break and fenders don't.